hello viewers welcome to selenium web driver videos in this video i would like to demonstrate about how to switch between frames using selenium web driver so basically what is a frame a frame is nothing but a section where which can hold any like you know web page or any website as you can see here i have a sample uh, html file where this page have multiple frames where each frame can contain a separate html document or a web page what does it mean is in this frame in this area i can put one website and in this frame i can put in another web page or a website in this frame i can have another website or a web page right so in a in a document we can keep these kind of frames in a, a set called frame set as you can see the html of this web page is like i am putting all these frames into this frame set right so and where each frame is a separate web page or a html document as you can see here i am keeping my ht uh, frame one html page the content of that page is like this so in this frame what i am doing is i am putting one html document right so that is how we use frames uh, in any of our applications right so how can because each of these frame is a web page how can i like you know interact with these controls which i am going to demonstrate in this video all right so as i have uh, like you know in this frame i have this my frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 and this is a uh, different username 1 username 2 and username 3 all right so each frame have a uh, uh which is a separate uh, web page right so this is the code which i am going to demonstrate in this video first i am creating a firefox instance and after that i am navigating to that html page i am putting some implicit weight all right say if i have tried uh, if um without so what i'm trying to do here is mm -hmm. say uh, once I have my object like this, which uh, I'm trying to enter something here, all right. As you can see, this source, uh, I I can identify this text box with my name, and I'm trying to enter something here. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm using driver dot find element by name. As you can see, the name of this is uh, <laughs> so the name the name is username one. So I'm using that username one property here dot send kiss i'm just trying to enter hello in my first text box all right so if i do that in this way which will report you an error saying that uh, which uh, which cannot identify that object i will tell you the reason why and uh, let me execute this so here basically a firefox instance will be started and which tries to enter something here but which cannot identify that object and let me as you can see here you can find no such element exception the reason being here is see this is our main window in that window we have a one web page or web document so this is again another a web page which is a html document right so we are in this main window to enter something or to perform some operation here we need to switch back to this window once we switch into this window then you can enter something here all right once you complete your operation in this window if you want to try to do some operation in this another uh, like you know frame what we have to do is the control has to come back to the original frame or original window all right once the control comes to my main window then again i need to switch back to my second frame all right once i switch back to my second frame i can enter whatever the value or whatever the operation that i can perform here 
once i'm done with it i cannot directly jump into my frame 3 first i need to switch back to my original window once i come back to my original window then i need to switch to my new frame so that is what i'm demonstrating in this video all right so basically to do that uh, i use the like you know switch to dot frame method which has a three variants which i am demonstrating in this video all right so let me show you with this example so that you will have a better understanding all right so the first thing what i am doing here is once i have my firefox instance first i would like to switch to my frame so basically these frames with uh, uh, can be indexed as you can see the first frame is with zero index this is my first index and this is my second index all right so once i launch my browser firefox in sense i am first switching to my frame one based on index so as i told the first frame has an index of zero so once i switch to my frame first frame i am identifying this uh, text field with username property as you can see the first uh, the name of that object is username one so i am using that uh, username one to identify this element once i have my web element i am entering something all right after after that i am putting some weight to make sure that uh, it, it enters something so you can notice that and once i enter that i want to enter some other value in this text field for that as i told earlier i want to switch back my control back to my main window for that what we have to use is you have to use default content so driver dot switch to dot default content will bring the control back to this main window okay once we come back to the main window we can switch back to frame 2 right so for that what i'm doing is i'm using driver dot switch to dot default content which brings the control back to the main window after that i am identifying this frame to based on my property as you can see here with the second frame is can be identified with id which is equal to f2 so i am using from frame name to identify this so you can include whatever the uh, like you know which can accept a string which is the id so i am using it here all right once i switch to my second frame i am identifying this object uh, this object with a name as you can see here which is having username to all right with that name i am identifying this object and i am entering something some text in here all right once i enter some uh, after entering something i want to switch back to third third frame so before switching back to third frame i need to switch back to my main, main window right for that what i'm using is i'm using the same method again default content all right after that what i'm doing is i am identifying my frame 3 as a web element so as you can see here as the html html of this is uh, which can be identified with id right so the entire frame i am identifying as some like you know uh, by using some uh, find element method with xpath all right so this i am the entire thing i am capturing into as a web element i am passing it to my frame object all right so what uh, so the the entire frame i am capturing as a web element which i am passing it here once i switch to my frame 3 i am entering i am identifying this uh, input field with name username 3 and i am entering something here all right so let me execute this code so that you will get a better understanding of it all right so let me execute it As you can see hello is entered here Uday is entered here and kumar is entered here right so that's how we use uh, like you know switch between different frames all right to resummarize it uh, we can switch frames using 
index or you can specify a string which can be id or name whatever it is or you can switch to a different frame using you can identify that frame as a web element and you can pass that web element as a uh, variable to this uh, switch to dot frame method all right so before like you know switching to the different frame you need to use the default content method which brings the focus to the main window all right that's how we use uh, like you know switch to dot frame method to switch between two different uh, or different frames in your application sometimes you may be wondering to see some error message saying uh, the element is not uh, no, not visible or no such element exception the reason being is if that element is within a frame make sure that you just first need to switch to that frame and then can identify that object and perform whatever the operation you want all right so uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video all right if you would like to if you if you really like this uh, video please click like button at the bottom of this video and also share with your friends Thanks for watching this video. Please leave your comments about this video. Thank you.